In this video, uh, I'm going to do one example um, of coordinate geometry where you have to find uh, the coordinate of a point. So let's read the question. D is a point negative 3, 4 and E is a point 5, 0. So I have plotted it. This is not exactly on scale. So this is negative 3, 4. This is negative 3, 4 and this is 5, 0. Okay, now point F is k comma negative 9. So this is negative 1 on the y-axis and this is negative 9. So by the question is you want to find the value of k. Find the value of k. By just looking at the graph, I would say the k should be some positive value. So if you extend this, so let us extend that. So by just looking at, this is a guess, I may be wrong, so we'll have to confirm that. So this is some value, some value of x somewhere here. So this is k sitting somewhere there. And that will, if you extend this, so let me show you that. So if you extend this, negative 9 will meet somewhere on your x-axis. So that's my guess. Okay. <coughs> So first, the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the equation of this line. Now, to, to find the equation of a line, uh, I first see the gradient of this line from left to right is sloping down, so the gradient needs to be negative. So gradient is y over run. So let me draw, this is say, your rise, which is negative, okay? And this is your run, okay? So what's what's the rise? rise is negative. Okay, so rise, rise, you are rising from 4 to 0, so your rise is 4, or negative 4. And your run is, you're running from negative 3 to 5, so your run is 8. Okay, so your gradient, okay, in most of the books it is by the letter M, is rise over run, which is negative 4 over 8, which does make sense, which is negative 0 0.5. Okay. So now the equation of a line, okay, now equation of a line, the general form of equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c, where c is your y-intercept, c is your y-intercept, and we just saw that m is your gradient. So this is your m, which is a gradient. Let me change color. So I can say m we know is negative 0 0.5. So I can say y is equal to negative 0 0.5x plus c. Now we can say, okay, you can put this point, that is 5, 0, or this point in this equation. So we know, so now we can say that Phi zero lies on this line. Okay, so I can say this implies x is phi and y is zero. So I'm going to put x as phi and y is zero in this equation. So I'm going to put this in this equation. So what will happen? So y is zero. So I can say zero is equal to negative 0 0.5 times phi plus c. Okay, so this is 0 is equal to <coughs> negative half of phi is negative 2.5 plus c. So if you add 2.5 on both sides, I can say c is 2.5. And by looking at the graph, it does make sense. Let me show you the graph. This is what we are saying is 2.5. Okay, and it does make sense. This is 1, this is 2. So this is 2.5. Okay. Though my graph is, my drawing is not drawn to scale, but pretty much tells me, confirms that the y-intercept is 2.5. So the equation of the line is negative 0.5x plus 2.5. Now I want to show you how you can do this on a calculator. This is only to confirm your answer. Okay, so get your graphic calculator out and go to your stats menu menu, your, this is your stats menu, go to your stats menu, 
and the two points that we have is so this is I'll, I'll not go into much details in list one you type in negative three you're typing in the x coordinate in list one okay so you've got negative three and your second x coordinate or the second point is five okay when x is negative three what's your y y is four so basically we are taking this as your x intercept sorry x coordinate and list two is your y coordinate execute and phi zero and now we are drawing to, <coughs> going to draw the scatter graph so go to your setup or set and this should be your graph type or the stats graph we are we want to draw the scatter plot so the x list is in list one your y list is in list two your frequency should be one so if you want to change this suppose this is suppose if you want to put have dots instead of so execute and then graph it so these are the two points so this is your negative three four and this is five zero and then we are asking the calculator to f press f1 to calculate and we know this is a straight line so you press f2 and there we go you don't worry about r squared and this on a calculator instead of mx plus c they do ax plus b your a is your gradient and b is your y intercept can you see your y intercept is 2.5 and the gradient is negative 0. Point. This is your the same thing. Okay? Okay. So that's confirmed. Now the question is you want to find k when you know the y value. Okay, so we we can let me change the color. So we can say when x is k, y is negative 9. So the question is you want to find what's k because why did I write that because it says this is your x value this is your x value and this is your y value okay so I put I'll put x y as negative 9 and x as k in this equation so what happens so negative 9 is equal to negative 0 0.5 k plus 2.5 now you take away 2.5 from both sides it's negative 11.5 is equal to negative 0 0.5 k. So I'm going to divide this side by negative 0 0.5. I'm going to divide this side by negative 0 0.5. Okay, so this and this gets cancelled, which implies k is negative 11.5 divided by negative 0 0.5. So let me use the calculator, menu, run. So negative 11.5 divided by negative 0 0.5 that will be 23 so your x your k value is 23 sorry 20 not 25 that is 23 k is equal to 23 so now to check this answer if it doesn't make sense let us go where's my calculator this is my calculator and uh, go to your graph menu okay and now type in negative 0 0.5 x plus uh, 2.5 that was the equation and we will go change the scale from say negative 10 to positive 10 and scale of 1 is all right and y you'll go from say negative 10 to 25 scale of phi this is just to confirm your answer to show you so this is your line we want to say when y is negative 9 what is my x so you go g sol and then i want to find the x value this k is your x so x calc when y is 23 okay yeah so that will oh sorry so g sol uh, sorry, right, G sol. So you uh, you want to calculate uh, your x calc when y is negative nine. Oh, what happened? Uh, my scale is. Oh yeah, x has to be. Say, I'll go up to twenty five. Scale of phi. Okay. So G sol, and I want to get. Uh, 
x calc when y is negative 9. Hopefully, I'll get it. Here we go. When x, y is negative 9, x is 23. See you in the next